Morning Prayers for Friday, July 2nd. The earth is the Lord's, for he made it. Come, let us adore him. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart, we have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways. To the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us all our sins, through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, Keep us in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The earth is the Lord's, for he made it. Come, let us adore him. Be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness, and come before his presence with a song. Know this, the Lord himself is God. He himself has made us, and we are his. We are the people of his, we are his people, and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gate with thanksgiving, go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him, and call upon his name. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from age to age. The earth is the Lord's, for he made it. Come, let us adore him. Psalm 140 Deliver me, O Lord, from evildoers. Protect me from the violent, who, despise, who devise evil in their hearts and stir up strife all day long. They have sharpened their tongues like a serpent. Adder's poison is under their lips. Keep me, O Lord, from the hands of the wicked. Protect me from the violent who are determined to trip me up. The proud have hidden a snare for me and stretched out a net of cords. They have set traps for me along the path. I have said to the Lord, You are my God. Listen, O Lord, to my supplication. O Lord God, the strength of my salvation, you have covered my head in the day of battle. Do not grant the desires of the wicked, O Lord, nor let their evil plans prosper. Let not those who surround me lift up their heads. <clears throat> let the evil of their lips overwhelm them. Let hot burning coals fall upon them. Let them be cast into the mire, never to rise up again. A slanderer shall not be established on the earth, and evil shall hunt down the lawless. I know that the Lord will maintain the cause of the poor and render, render justice to the needy. Surely the righteous will give thanks to your name, and the upright shall continue in your sight. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Amen. The first lesson is from the first book of Samuel. Now there was no smith to be found throughout all the land of Israel. For the Philistines said, The Hebrews must not make swords or spears for themselves. So all the Israelites went down to the Philistines to sharpen their plowshare, mattock, axes, or sickles. The charge was two-thirds of a shekel for the plowshares and for the mattocks, and one-third of a shekel for sharpening the axes and for setting the goads. So on the day of battle, neither sword nor spear was to be found in the possession of any of the people with Saul and Jonathan. But Saul and his son Jonathan had them. Now a garrison of the Philistines had gone out to the pass of Michmash. One day, Jonathan, son of Saul, said to the young man who carried his armor, Come, let us go over to the Philistine garrison on the other side. 
but he did not tell his father. Saul was staying in the outskirts of Gibeah under the pomegranate tree that is at Migron. The troops that were with him were about 600 men. Along with Ahia, son of Ahitub, Ichabod's brother, son of Phinehas, son of Eli, the priest of the Lord in Shiloh, carrying an ephod. Now the people did not know that Jonathan had gone. In the pass by which Jonathan tried to go over to the Philistine garrison, there was a rocky crag on one side and a rocky crag on the other. The name of the one was Bozes, and the name of the other, Sene. One crag rode on the north, rose on the north in front of Michmash, and the other on the south in front of Geba. Jonathan said to the young man who carried his armor, Come, let us go over to the garrison of these uncircumcised. It may be that the Lord will act for us, for nothing can hinder the Lord from saving by many or by few. His armor-bearer said to him, Do all that your mind inclines to. I am with you. As your mind is, so is mine. Then Jonathan said, Now we will cross over to those men and will show ourselves to them. If they say to us, Wait until we come to you, then we will stand still in our place, and we will not go up to them. But if they say, Come up to us, then we will go up. For the Lord has given them into our hand. That will be a sign for us. So both of them showed themselves to the garrison of the Philistines. And the Philistines said, Look, Hebrews are coming out of the holes where they have hidden themselves. The men of the garrison hailed Jonathan and his armor bearer, saying, Come up to us and we will show you something. Jonathan said to his armor bearer, Come up after me for the Lord has given them into the hand of Israel. Then Jonathan climbed up on his hands and feet, with his armor-bearer following him. The Philistines fell before Jonathan and his armor-bearer, coming after him, killed them. In that first slaughter, Jonathan and his armor-bearer killed about twenty men within an area about half a fur long in an acre of land. There was a panic in the camp, and in the field, and among all the people, the garrison, and even the raiders trembled. The earth quaked, and it became a very great panic. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The canticle is from the second song of Isaiah. Seek the Lord while he wills to be found. Call upon him when he draws near. Let the wicked forsake their ways, and the evil ones their thoughts. And let them turn to the Lord, and he will have compassion. And to our God, for he will richly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as rain and snow fall from the heavens and return not again, but water the earth, bringing forth life and giving growth, seed for sowing and bread for eating, so is my word that goes forth from my mouth. It will not return to me empty, but it will accomplish that which I have purposed and prosper in that for which I have sent it. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The New Testament lesson is from the Acts of the Apostles. Meanwhile, Saul, still breathing threats and murder against the disciples of the Lord, went to the high priest and asked him for letters to the synagogues at Damascus, so that if he found any who belonged to the way, men or women, he might bring them bound to Jerusalem. Now as he was going along and approaching Damascus, suddenly a light from heaven flashed around him. He fell to the ground and heard a voice saying to him, Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me? He asked, Who are you, Lord? The reply came, I am Jesus, whom you are persecuting. But get up and enter the city and you will be told what you are to do. The men who were traveling with him stood speechless because they heard the voice but saw no one. 
Saul got up from the ground, and though his eyes were open, he could see nothing. So they led him by the hand and brought him to Damascus. For three days he was without sight, and neither ate nor drank. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Canticle 18 is from Revelations. Splendor and honor and kingly power are yours by right, O Lord our God. For you created everything that is, and by your will they were created and had their being. And yours by right, O Lamb that was slain. For with your blood you have redeemed for God, from every family, language, people, and nation, a kingdom of priests to serve our God. And so to him who sits upon the throne, and to Christ the Lamb, be worship and praise, dominion and splendor, forever and forevermore. The Apostles' Creed I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord's Prayer Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them, now and always. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy, for we put our trust in you. In you, O Lord, is our hope, and we shall never hope in vain. Almighty God, you have built your church upon the foundations of the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone. Grant us so to be joined together in unity of spirit by their teaching, that we may be made a holy temple acceptable to you. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you stretched out your arms of love on the hardwood of the cross, that everyone might come within the reach of your saving embrace. So clothe us in your spirit that we, reaching forth our hands in love, may bring those who do not know you to the knowledge and love of you, for the honor of your name. Amen. We pray for the people of Algeria. We pray for our sisters and brothers, members of the Evangelical Free Church of Canada. Almighty God, whose most dear Son went not up to joy, but first he suffered pain, and entered not into glory before he was crucified, mercifully grant that we, walking in the way of the cross, might find it none other than the way of life and peace. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. O God, the Father of all, whose Son commanded us to love our enemies, Lead them in us from prejudice to truth. Deliver them in us from hatred, cruelty, and revenge. And in your good time, enable us all to stand reconciled before you. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Grant, O God, that your holy and life-giving Spirit may so move every human heart that barriers which divide us may crumble, suspicions disappear, and hatred cease. 
that our divisions being healed, we may live in justice and peace. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. God, our Father, you see your children growing up in an unsteady and confusing world. Show them that your ways give more life than the ways of the world, and that following you is better than chasing after selfish goals. Help them to take failure, not as a measure of their worth, but as a chance for a new start. Give them strength to hold their faith in you and to keep alive their joy in your creation. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty and eternal God, so draw our hearts to you, so guide our minds, so fill our imaginations, so control our wills, that we may be wholly yours, utterly dedicated unto you. And then use us, we pray you, as you will, and always to your glory and to the welfare of your people. Through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we could ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen.